I'm getting a car wash. It's probably a little loud in here. I hope you can hear me. I am on my way to Sabres. I haven't been to Sabres in a really long time. And so I wanted to go and just see. I'm trying to get a good angle so it's not too dark. But, oh, let me see. I forgot I had a light on here. Hey, there we go. So yes, I wanted to stop in Sabres just to see if they have any new fabric and hopefully I can find some good things. So I wanna take you with me so we can go looking around. Okay, here we are. I always look for the sign that says material, which is right there. And let's have a look. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of like a suede, kind of. Let's see. Kind of cute. More like faux suede. Here's some knit. Some more knit. Let's see. That's kind of a cute knit. Let's see. They have a lot of fabric today. This feels like a a wool tweed or something. I'm not sure. Oh, gingham! I love gingham. Oh, I like gingham. Oh my goodness! I don't know if I want to get this or not. It's kind of stiff. It's nice, but it's kind of stiff this one is not as stiff mm, but it's not a whole lot of it either uh, might pass on that this is a sheer okay oh this is like a cotton not a lot there though now there's a lot of this but I don't really like it Okay, all right, I may not find anything today. Oh, I like this color, this olive. I really like this color. This is a knit. Let me see how it feels. Nice and stretchy. Mm. I could probably get this. There's plenty of it. It's kind of a slinky, so it would have a nice drape to it. It's only $6.99. I might get that. I just might get that. I can probably do something with that. Let me keep looking. Okay. Look at this. This is actually cute to me. This could make some cute like bell bottom pants. But I'm going to pass. Let's see. What else? What else? Um, oh, this is flush like a blanket. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice wool. Oh, this can make like a cute coat. Oh, I kind of like this. There's plenty of it. Nice. I think I'm getting this. $7.99. Make sure it's not stained or anything crazy. I like this. I think I'm gonna get that. This is my speed. I can make something with that. Okay. And the rest of this I can look. Oh, this is so pretty. Real soft, okay. And, oh, is this more? I don't know. No, it's probably not. This is like curtains and drapes. 
all right so back to where i was so i think i'm gonna get this and where's that green stuff and i might get this get this one it's got like some pools in there and it's a little bit sheer I just love the color but I think I'm gonna pass on this one Thank you. so I'm really happy with the fabric that I purchased I figure I can make something out of a nice wool I'm just gonna have to take it to the cleaners to get it cleaned up so I wanted to share with you that I have on a t-shirt that I hacked and I just really like the way that it came out. I'm gonna show you how I hacked the hem and I wanted to just give you a quick sneak peek so you can see what it looks like all hacked. So the way this shirt came about is I was out shopping one day and I saw a shirt in the store and it had elastic in the back but it didn't have any elastic in the front and i thought it was just so cute and i said oh i think i can make that so i'm going to show you what i did to make this shirt come to life so to make this top you want to grab a t-shirt pattern and i just used simplicity 1325 view a it's just a simple t-shirt pattern i started out by lengthening the hem by one inch which is an optional thing you don't really have to do that and then I grabbed a piece of elastic and I made sure that the elastic was a little bit shorter than the full length of the hem in the back so I began by putting the shirt together the way that the pattern directed after sewing the shoulder seams I folded up the bottom hem of the back of the shirt by one and one quarter inch and my elastic is about an inch in width after the hem was folded up i sewed it down very close to the edge and then i took the elastic and threaded it through the opening I used safety pins to secure the elastic to the side of the garment. I then proceeded to finish off the front hem in the same way. I folded up the hem and sewed it down but I did not put any elastic through the front hem. This is how the hems looked after they were all sewn down. Next, I flipped the garment with the right sides together and proceeded to sew down the sides of the garment. I made sure everything was lined up pretty well and then I sewed the side seams closed. And this is the final result. There is elastic in the back and there is no elastic in the front. All right, so that is my t-shirt. I hope you like it and I hope that you can make something similar if you like the way that it turned out. So the next garment I have to share with you is a jumpsuit that I made. It is Berta 6318. This jumpsuit is made out of a ponte knit. There are gathers in the upper front and the upper back. There are straps, pockets, and elastic in the lower leg hem area of the jumpsuit. Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Meteorologists don't wear green on TV because the computer would take the color of their clothes and replace it digitally with an image of the weather map, making it look like they have disappeared from the screen.